Welcome to the tutorial on the live operations, part of the AirHub drone operation platform. Let's discover this powerful feature that allows you to manage your live streams. In this video, we will first guide you through the basics, explaining the user interface. After that we will show you how to set up custom sessions, add devices and manage shareable links. Let's dive in. To begin, locate the live operations on the sidebar. When you open it, you will see a list with sessions. The list is divided into two sections, active flights and custom sessions. Active flights are displayed automatically when the pilot starts them and disappear once completed. Custom sessions, on the other hand, are always available and persistent. Let's open a session by simply clicking on one from the list. Now, you can view all the live streams that are currently added to that session. If you prefer a more focused view, you have the option to collapse both the sidebar and the list. At the header, you'll find the main options for the session. Open the message chat to effortlessly send and receive messages. Access the map, where you can view the live location of the drone, crew, and markers, providing you with a comprehensive visual understanding. Additionally, you have the flexibility to incorporate extra devices from your library directly into the session. Furthermore, you have the convenience of managing shareable links, enabling you to effortlessly collaborate with individuals outside your organization. Each stream within the session comes with its own set of options, but only available if you're a team admin. By pinning a stream, you can ensure it takes up a larger portion of the screen compared to others, providing you with a more prominent view. If the streaming device supports telemetry, it will focus on it on the map. With the visibility button, you have the ability to hide a stream from your audience who are watching through the links you've shared. This means that only the team administrators will remain access to all the video feeds, ensuring privacy and giving you full control over who can view the streams in a session. With the object detection mode enabled, our advanced artificial intelligence technology enhances your stream by overlaying objects, making it effortless for you to identify and focus on specific elements of interest. The last option allows you to remove a streaming device from the session, providing you with the flexibility to manage the streams according to your preferences. With live operations, you have full control over your live streams and can collaborate seamlessly with others. With the basics covered, let's move on to setting up custom sessions. To create your custom session, navigate to the list containing all the streaming sessions. Look for the plus button in the header. Simply click on it, enter a name for your session, and hit create. You've now successfully created your custom streaming session. Now it's time to add devices to the session. Simply open the devices list to find all your streaming devices stored in the library. By clicking the plus button, you can add them into the session. Should you choose to use a third-party app to stream to our platform, you'll need to begin by creating a drone or equipment entry in your library. Go to your library and navigate to either the drone or equipment section, depending on the device you plan to use for streaming. If you haven't added any drones yet, just click the New button in the header to create one. Once you've created the drone or equipment, access its detail page. There, you can generate a unique RTMP URL, which you can then copy and paste into your preferred streaming application. Remember, each RTMP URL is exclusive to one device. In our final topic, we'll guide you through creating a shareable link. To begin, open the Links panel from the header. Next, click on the New Link button to create a shareable link. Provide a descriptive name that reflects its purpose, such as, Name of the Audience. You have the option to secure the link by either using an access code or whitelisting specific IP addresses. If desired, you can also set an expiration date for the link. Additionally, you have control over what the audience can access within the link, such as device telemetry, device information, session details, or viewing the messages. Simply click the Save button to finalize the shareable link. Now, it's ready to be shared. Copy the link and distribute it as needed. Should you wish to quickly disable access, a simple toggle will turn off the link. And there you have it. This is all you need to know to get started with the live operations feature and begin streaming your drone operations.